Better get that because it's going to run out again. <laughs> we got the big, because we got the we got the big fuel tank in it. Uh, Wait, here, I can hear it slurping. Trying to work out what I do with this. Cut the fucking thing out, put a new fucking bottom in it. Yeah. I wanna I wanna try and marry it in as nicely as possible for that. Okay. You're never gonna fuel tank is now full again. Awesome. It's returning back to the tank as it should. We'll take our spare petrol. The battery is as you can see is well secured and this is the earth for the fuel pump. <laughs> Which means we probably won't bring the dog, eh? We might leave the diagnostic dog behind because she'll knock the she'll knock the earth out for sure. We've got a full tank of gas for the moment. And we actually got and I just about tried to knock it out with my foot. As I'm getting out. This is the loom we removed. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so to get it out we actually had to physically cut it out. Yeah. As yeah, you yeah. saw. Yeah. And and that was what it was. What it was like yeah. we, we we didn't manage to re repair it into quite that state i'm sorry i, I did oh, have to make some modifications yeah. and we just we couldn't replicate <laughs> the soldering for you yeah fair enough that was the battery so we have these big toy to put these big wires on it from yeah. the alternator someone in their wisdom thought that these two little wires would, do the trick. would actually do the job yeah. <laughs> no. no now i've showed you i can throw it out <laughs> yep, yeah, pull the lever down. It's an old car, you remember, pull the lever down. I will end up raiding the plastics off it. Yeah, Because yeah, when we get a standard one coming, it's hard to get plastics. Oh, yeah, too. So I'll actually be raiding them off it. Yeah, fair enough. Recycling. Yeah. <laughs> right, as we've used half our tank of gas, now it's, now it's warmed up. It doesn't use fuel so fast. Oh, yeah. That would be mean we can drive it on the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Right. Reuven is here for his first test drive of his cruiser. Yeah. And oh, here's where you're wiring the block. So these oh, are nice. ECU to mount. Yeah. And these mount, and of course you're going to take it all out anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, to take it out, unplug the ECU. Yeah. There's a body, body plug here. Yeah. There's a, a plug that runs across the dash. Oh, yeah. And there's a plug that's got the main battery power that goes to the fuse block um, oh there's a big insulated stud under there right. and that all just unplugs and you can just take it out the ECU comes out and then you pull it through the pull the firewall grommet yeah. put it on the engine too easy a little bit over by the alternator yeah. that's all take the engine out Sorry. okay yeah. alternator light oh yeah Sorry. that actually works oh, cool. then you've got your oil pressure yeah. and a temp gauge Sorry. so they work yeah. and yeah that temp gauge does actually work on the dash oh, okay Sure. And that's our added alternator light, yeah. which is kind of almost period looking, eh? Yeah, you yeah. You wouldn't really notice it. No, nah, it looks good. Um, down in there somewhere. Yeah. Well, when we'd been had it hadn't had it running for a little while. Yeah. We gave it a wiggle down there and got power back again. Uh -huh. So just be careful. There might be something down in there. We. Okay. You're going to pull it all apart, and, and the wiring really needs a look through at that point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the body wiring, and our wiring actually just runs across here. And plugs oh, in yeah. behind yeah. the dash it's That's actually pretty right. simple so when you're taking it out yeah it's this i actually made a little adapter oh okay which you haven't seen that bit yet yeah, but yeah. there's a little adapter in there oh, yeah. on the ignition yeah and then there's the temp gauge and the alternator light really easy right let's go right just don't run over my dog no, and the brakes are seized okay so you've got reverses over here oh, yeah. And first so, either. first is up here. Okay. Yeah, that should be first. Handbrake okay. does actually work, but the rest of the brakes are pretty marginal. You don't need to give it much. Where are we going? Uh, where do you want to go? Yeah. Do you want to go down the race? Yeah. Ooh, that's your first drive. Yeah. We're going to get some mud on it. Yeah. You might want to actually come test your brakes. Oh, yeah. You'll notice there's not much. Yeah, yeah. I saw that look of fear in your eyes. Is, is it gonna stop? No, it's not gonna stop. <laughs> but you're okay through here. Uh, you don't don't try reverse. No, I don't. It's reverses 
right beside the second. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's your first drive, getting some cow shit on it. You don't take it home and wash it. Yeah. And we're okay, it's pretty much just a straight. Oh, yeah. And if you hear the fuel pump buzzing when we're driving on us, we oh. have to take it out. But we're going to take the fuel pump out when you leave. You're not getting my bucket of noise. Yeah, uh, fair it doesn't come with my bucket of noise <laughs> and my battery. <laughs> you have to get your own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we had the cows on the race last night. Oh, yeah. Don't make a mess. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it sits a lot higher when you're in it, eh? Like driving yeah. it. Right, we are coming to the end of the race. I am expecting um, we're going to have to look at a, a turn around here. Oh, we can actually, um, now the tape's open, so if you just roll around that way, there's a better place to turn around around the corner here. Oh, yeah, you remember, the, the brakes are only a suggestion. Yeah, oh, roughly right. Yeah, if you really push hard, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well enough. The gearbox feels pretty good, eh? Yeah. And I'll just let you in this paddock over here. Right. I'll open those tapes there. That's it. Straight ahead. Yeah, just right here. Let me have a... Starting to froth at the bottom of the tank. So time for a refill. <laughs> it's nice and quiet again. We're good to go. Look at that. Turn around. Put it on the trailer. Could you be smiling anymore? No, I don't think I could. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exciting day, the first drive when you haven't haven't like because you've never driven this, have you? No, no. This haven't. is the first drive. Yeah. Have you driven a Land Cruiser before? I used to have an 80 series. Right, but this isn't no, this that's, is that's not the same. Way different to an yeah. 80 series. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 80s are refined compared to one of these. Yeah, exactly. But this is way cooler. Yeah. And short. Yeah. This. Not bad for it, just throw some numbers in the tube. Yeah. It was okay. Yeah. And it actually drives. Yeah. It's a bit of a sweetheart, eh? Yeah. It actually drives pretty nice. Yeah, it does. Like, you know, suspension wise and that stuff, yeah, considering I was quite it's about that. a little bit worn out, you know, it's been sitting. Yeah, yeah. It actually drives. The ride's nice. actually quite nice, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was. We, it was, the tune was absolutely crap. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely crap, and um, Jason went home and I went, uh, reload, yeah, yeah. bring some new numbers, change it around, and this is the result that I got nice, after yeah. about, oh, probably half an hour just sitting in the shop fiddling with it. Yeah, yeah. You've got to get, you've got to get it dyno. Yeah, yeah. But it's good enough for you to run it. Yeah, exactly. If it does fail a plug, I'm not too bothered around the rich than lean. Yeah, yeah. But it, it actually, it's, you can use it, you know, you can set up your own bucket of noise and a battery at home. Yeah. Just load up the back of the trailer and, you can actually drive it in and out and drive it around. Yeah. Now we've got mud on it yeah. and cow shit. Yeah, that's how it should be. Exactly. <laughs> right, let's get it loaded up. Yeah. That's the big shit off it, eh? Yeah. Get a hose and mow on. Stockyard. Stockyard's hose. Mm. That's how it's done, eh? Yeah, so, you know how we were talking about the timing and trying to work out where it is? Yeah. Well, it wasn't anywhere where we expected it, so. Okay. We got a fire and it's popping. Yeah. So you'll see down here, you can see this. There's the, all the different marks on there. Yeah, on the yeah, yeah. So basically what I did is I just put number one in, put the timing light on number one. Yeah. And I started cranking it, checking the timing until I got it to where I wanted it. Okay. And then 
I just fired with an engine start in. Yeah. It did a big pop out the intake. Yeah. Knowing that it's actually it's firing number no the TD number one's come to TDC, mm -hmm. but it's firing number six. Oh yeah. So so I'm 180 or oh, I'm a, a crankshaft revolution out. Yeah. Move it to the correct spot, yeah. recheck it. And that's how I actually worked out the timing. And then I just worked out the yeah. um this one's wired in the firing order so yeah. the first cylinder is the first one to tdc firing after the trigger happens or the computer thinks it's meant to happen yeah and then you go wherever that is yeah <laughs> you just get your firing order you go one eight four three six five seven two and you yeah. write one two three four five six seven eight back at the top yeah and you just plug them in so number one cylinder isn't actually wired into number one injector drive. Yeah, it's in number five. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. then so the next one's after that. Next one's okay. after that. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just because it's it's old and primitive, yeah. Um, it's got an extra plug in there for the extra sensors. Okay. Which, so if you ever do yeah. change, upgrade or change it. Yeah. And then, but apart from that, it's like it runs kind of like it should. Yeah. yeah. You've got your big. You got a fuse over there. Oh yeah. So you've got. The, the big ones in the waterproof things down the bottom there. Yeah. One of them's the um, like AM1, like all the ignition feed into the cabin. Okay. And the other one's like a little one. Yeah. And then you've got your alternator fuse and your injection fuses actually in that box. Okay. So that runs in on a, on that braided cable there. Yeah, yeah. Runs inside and across. So that's yeah. the braided cable. Oh, cool. So everything's fused like it should be. Yeah. Down in that corner, we just basically snip some wires off, put plugs on them. Yeah. This was the original alternator wiring. So we just put a plug on it because we've run yeah. it in our fuse box. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, Jason tapped the fan wiring in nicely, and then we go along with these oh, cool. other wiring, little rouse and yeah, garden yeah. hose, and <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we didn't get carried away with the body loom. Yeah, yeah. Um, we focused yeah. on making sure that engine loom is like it should. Uh, new injectors. Yeah. So sure. our two fifty cc are a little bit bigger than it was in there, yeah. but not too big that we had to do massive changes in the tuning and it will cause massive problems and that sort of thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. put a different tune in it. There was a good link base tune for a UZ. Okay. Um, back in the day yeah. and the base numbers worked reasonable. Oh, sweet. So, yeah. all that kind of works like it should. Yeah. Um, new alternator, new starter motor, new sensor, new yeah. sensor. <laughs> um, and a clutch works. Clutch yeah. is, it's at the top which is saying it's it's at the end of its life, yeah, yeah. but of course it works good enough for now. Yeah, yeah. Um, clutch master and clutch slave done. Yep. Yeah. Brum brum. Brum brum. You had it's got an airbox eh, that comes across or? Yeah, yeah. It comes from. Yeah, and it had <laughs> had like big like plumbing conduit sort of oh, thing. Oh yes. That sort of came out from here, and it had a little a PVC pipe with a potty in it. Oh yeah. And it just wrapped around to there, so. Make do something, else do something nice. A little bit nicer than that, yeah. <laughs> you've got tight in here because you've got all this room in here. Like yeah, big, yeah. big room here to put up. Plenty of room. Like a factory style earbox or even. Yeah, something yeah. Like. Okay, and try and loop it into that snorkel. Yeah. We're going to test that Falcon. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to have to call the neighbor's tractor, so I'll just go in front of you. you know? yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, sweet. Keep, send me some photos once I it's will. done. I might, once I'll, it's driving. I'll bring it up. Yeah, come for a drive. Whatnot, yeah, yeah that'll be awesome. Yeah. See Nana and Nangataha and then yeah. come out for a play on the paddocks. We'll go for a test drive. Yeah. Go do some skids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one. Good. Drive safe. All right, sweet.